Welcome to a very special episode where JP Lambiase from Healthy Junk Food and Julia Gulia from The Wedding Singer compete against the clock to create one spectacular dish using the five randomly picked ingredients you, the audience, chose. Who will become victorious? They can cook perfectly. Who will be crowned this year's Healthy Junk Food? The moment of truth has arrived. Are you ready, JP? I'm ready. Are you ready, Julia Gulia? I'm ready. Well, let's start the timer. Your 30 minutes starts now. So besides JP being crazy, the first thing I knew that I had to do was grab that bacon, make it into a bacon weave, and throw it in the oven. And since I'm into Asians, I figured I'd cook an Asian-influenced dish. So I'm mixing some wasabi powder with my Zoritas along with some sesame oil. I know it sounds crazy, but oh, it probably is. Bacon in Asian? Uh, I don't know. I've never heard of it before. So my initial tactic was to attack Julia. I figured if I could get her injured, it could buy me some time. And I gotta use Doritos and mac and cheese. Why don't I make Dorito crusted mac and cheese patties? What we're actually seeing here is a, a macaroni and cheese bun. But then it became like a huge struggle because while I was moving in the flour, it just wasn't holding its shape. Well, so. it has to be deep fried then. Well, I mean, deep fried yes, and JP. and cheese. Well, the deep fryer actually wasn't an option. So I quickly tossed into an egg wash, then into my Doritos, and then did my best at grilling this up. JP opened up with his Jolly Ranchers. This seems to be costing for some time. For the Jolly Ranchers, I decided to make a sauce to mix in with my pulled pork. So I used some rice wine vinegar, wasabi powder, soy sauce, sesame oil, and of course, the Jolly Ranchers. So I wanted to have like a tangy sauce to go onto my sandwich. So I decided to mix a Jolly Ranchers, beer, Worcestershire, a lot of ketchup, beer, I like beer, and some acidity just to really tame the sweetness coming from the Jolly Ranchers. And we have just about 10 minutes to go. So I figured at this point I've got my bacon weave, my mac and cheese, and my pulled pork. So I'm gonna roll this up and make sushi out of it. But when I took my bacon weave out of the oven, I realized it wasn't cooked all the way on one side. And since we only had a few minutes left, I decided to grill it as much as I possibly could. So my recipe wasn't nearly as involved as Julia's. I pretty much slapped some pulled pork mixed with some mac and cheese on the grill along with some bacon. I really just wanted to make an epic sandwich at this point. There's literally a few seconds left and I'm having trouble getting it on the plate. My dish was looking a little plain, so luckily I had some parsley lying around for some color. All right, guys, get your plates the way you want them to look because these are our last few seconds. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That's enough. That is enough. And now we'll find out from our two judges who did the better job. We'll go with the sushi first, okay? Yeah. But this is gonna win. You're not even gonna dunk it? Hmm? And it is pretty spicy though. But it's like that perfect amount of spiciness. Very crunchy. I don't know if this necessarily works for me. I'm getting the spicy after note. You get the Asian influence. It's just really, really, really crunchy and unusual. It is unusual. It's just something about it. I love it. You should go for that, uh, that wasabi bowl there. Son of a bitch. Ball. I mean, Julia's presentation was, was, was good, but I like JP's presentation. The classical looked very manly, very epic. Barbecue and mac and cheese is a wonderful combination. One bite. For the health of it. For, for the health of it? For the health of it. Can we get napkins? <laughs> it's a lot more crunchier than I thought it was going to be. But it's supposed to be crunchy. Almost like a latke. It's pulled pork, mac and cheese bun. Definitely delicious. I sure as heck I'm gonna figure out how to make this. Yeah. This Jolly Rancher sauce. It is very good. JP's Jolly Rancher barbecue sauce. We're gonna send Julia and JP in the back room right now, and we're gonna make our final decisions. Although, from the looks of it, they've already made up their minds. Are you ready, fellas? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Bros, before us. Julia. Thank you. All right, uh, how are you both feeling? Hey, whatever happens between the answer the couch is not where I'm sleeping. Uh, yes. I thought your dish was awesome. Okay, I actually watched the whole time. I was there. No, I understand. So sincere. Has anyone seen the movie Gone Girl? This is going to happen to me. No, it's not. Maybe the opposite way. I felt like we 
we were given these ingredients to do something and enhance them in some way. So that's what my attempt was to do. I feel like you made the mistake by not adding Whoa, anything to the mac and cheese. All right. Okay, I don't like that. It's game time. And the loser under the pot is Julia. Yes. Julia. Oh, yeah. What? Oh. Ah! Shouty, it's your birthday. Good job. Uh, it was a good fight. It was a good fight. I'm just trying to be a good sport. Oh. It seems that the judges have spoken. Julia, don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Next time. yeah, good job. I love you. Bye. You're my boo. You're my precious. Mm. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hey there. No. Redemption. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Walking Dead. Oh.